Hello, uh, we're going to check out Deliver Us the Moon. It's a sci-fi adventure set in an apocalyptic near future where Earth's natural resources are depleted. A lone astronaut is sent to the moon, us, uh, on a critical mission to save humanity from extinction. So uh, our job is to go to the moon and save the world or humanity. That's no problem. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. But uh, this is a Wired Productions published game and I'm a Wired creator, so I got the key. So thank you guys for giving me that so I can check out the game and share it with all you guys. We're gonna check it out today. It's probably gonna take a few episodes to get through this. Uh, it's like five or six hours, probably at least. I hope you guys will enjoy it with me. Yeah, let's go. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Oh, so pretty. There was a time when resources seemed endless. Turn it up. But in 2030, the great 2030, that's crisis coming soon. Began. Oh God! With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. World Space Agency. The answer was found nice. in helium three. Helium. A powerful three. isotope discovered in abundance on the moon. Ah. The moon saves us. Humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. Nice. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. <laughs> the resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network. The microwave power transmission. Microwave? Or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Are we gonna then kill the moon? One fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. 2054? Uh oh. No energy. What happened to our energy? The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Oh no! Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the they World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. That sucks. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Okay. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch ready an to astronaut launch. to the moon. To the moon, let's go! What awaits is unknown hey. and unforeseeable. But the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. <laughs> That's the name of the game! Oh boy. Alright. New game? New game. Let's go. Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the this 20th is a crazy premise. MPT That's cool, blackout though. that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. <laughs> the blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments That's have fine. support for refugees despite Ooh. reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass Great. over the World Space Agency's former MPT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. For countries north Moonan. of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Cage for World News 1, September 16, 2059. Wishing hmm. you a safe and happy day. Have a safe and happy day. Yeah. All right. Looks good. Neat. Hi, Nate. How are you? Ground, orbital, launch, sequencer, sequencer, I don't know how to, oh god. Am I gonna have to learn how to launch us into space? Cause, uh, I've never been there. 
You've done it a thousand times before during our simulations. We know you can do this. Good luck. <laughs> um, so you say, but uh, I don't remember doing any simulations, so... Hopefully... Okay, we got a nice little zoom effect. Very nice, very nice. We're ready to start the mission. Do you copy? No. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. Press. Is that, is that my spacesuit? Is that me? Is that for me? Alright, I'll take it. Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Yeah. Astro tool! You're playing a guy that's a guy's apartment if I've ever seen one? Yeah. Yeah, I guess Radio so, you're right. Confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Enter the launch facility. Ah, oh, space monkey. What? I'm going to space. Are you ready? Because the world is... is uh, falling apart. And I'm the only savior. Stop hoping for magic. What, we haven't discovered magic by 2050 yet? Like, actual magic? I'm very disappointed. Alright, well, um... I guess we just leave. Bye bye! Five years after the blackout. There she is, the Taurus Spy. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. We're doomed, I know. Now, the mission will <laughs> I'll be die before I even get off the planet. <laughs> Don't worry. We must hurry. This is me running as quick as I can. Okay, okay. What was this? Whoa, I can scan. I like a piece of scannable information. Network dish. Created by Isaac Johnson. Transmitted power from the moon to the earth through a network and satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during 2054 blackout, Claire Johnson Johansson has studied her father's work closely in preparation for the Fortuna mission. Oh, it's cool. Alright, how do I close it? Let me close. Alright. Do do. This is cool looking. Okay, this is how we sprint. Sprint. We're not on the moon yet, guys. We're just in the. on Earth. Don't worry. I can't. I don't have moon jump. I still jump pretty high. Home of is where we are together, Claire Johansson. Kathy, Claire. What's this? Elizabeth Johansson. Oh no. I was clicking off the screen. There you go. Mother, wife, the light of our lives forever in our hearts. Ceremony will take place. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Okay. That a wife is is lost. Elizabeth kept jo Johansson uh, family together after her husband Isaac assumed a role in the Lunar Council. After her death, Claire took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. Okay. Can I bring a teddy bear to the moon? Could be a good idea. It's a girl! Okay. What's this? MPT, end of the age of wires. End to the age of wires. Yeah, who needs wires? Except when it gets shut down and doesn't work, then you need wires, probably. <laughs> all of our energy needs satisfied in the blink of an eye. A system that can wirelessly transmit energy all over the world and beyond. This is the MPT. The microwave power transmission. In the book, the MPT inventor... Isaac Johansson discusses what the future might hold for this revolutionary system. Okay. Cute. 
Are we just gonna leave everything as is? All right, we're leaving. Bye. I got stuff to do. No time to, no time to waste here. What's this? Scanning. Hey, Split, Splitnik Monument. Monument marks the entrance to the Fessenkov Cosmodrome. The facility was abandoned until the Fortuna team made it their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. Sign reads, to the stars! In what language? <laughs> what language is this? <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Hello, Cheryl! How are you? We're in No, we're not in space yet. We're going to space! Ready? I totally remember. I totally was paying attention. What's up here? Wait, should I climb or... Eh, climb. Do I need to do something here? Did they expect me to remember what to do? Yeah, good luck. I'm just gonna click on all the things that I can. Alright, that's spinning, so I'm guessing that's a good sign. Something's powered on. Oh, now I can go in here. Toggle. To the toggle, let's go. Ted, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Alright, Claire. Open. Thank you. Yeah, this looks like a little bit in uninhabitable. Years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. The moon At didn't first, give us no enough microwaves. It would be possible to the heck? transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will when you get the MPT back online. Yeah. Those are big buttons. Maybe everyone left is older, has bad eyesight. I'm just thinking about the same thing. I'm like, this is a massive button. <laughs> but alright. I mean, I like it. I like it. Just making sure graphics stuff looks good, I think. I wanted to see if ray tracing works. Is it gonna break? Don't break my game. It's gonna break it. It's gonna explode. It's running, actually, pretty. It may or may not work. But we're gonna try and see if. I mean, it looks pretty good. I have everything turned up as high as I can. And I just turn on the ray tracing, so we'll see. Ooh, it's creepy and dark in here. Did everyone else just abandon ship? Or what? Oh no, I don't know the number. I don't know this number. Can I punch this machine? Looks like someone else already did. If power's out, use code 3548. 3548 for the door. 3548. 3548. Alright, alright, I can do that. 3548. There we go. Now, where are we going? Why is it creepy? Was this. Pull! Oh. Oh, let there be light! Good, good, good. What about in here? Can't go in there, alright. Usually you follow the lights. Yeah. Okay. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. No, the power isn't actually out. Maybe just the lights. Maybe there's only certain lights or certain things are active. You know, like emergency stuff works, but not everything. Backup generators, right? Anything in here for me? Oh, oh. Face Tech Magazine, Blackout 2054. What happened to the MPT? Life without MPT, a year after the blackout. In this edition, we invite world-renowned scientists to discuss what could have caused the MPT to remain offline, what might have happened to the lunar colonists, and how humanity should move forward. 
I mean, yeah, that's pretty messed up. They just, like, abandon all the people. Cool. What is this? I have no idea. Oh, oh! A note! Good thing I did that. Missing colonist dust here. Isaac Johansson. Date of birth. 1811. 2001. Or 1118. Depending on where you live. Kathy. Yeah, this is a... Uh, he's been missing a while. Known workaholic. Consumed with creation and maintenance of MPT. Obsessive tendencies cause rifts in personal relationships. Increasingly reclusive after death of wife. Wait, I, is there anything on the back? No. Okay, just had to check. Yeah, back up, I guess. I don't know. Don't worry. What are we laughing at? What are you laughing at? Objective, MPT network. How to get it working again. Moon, database, blah, blah, blah. Determined to seek the truth about the 2054 blackout and restore the MPT connection. Maria Gonzalez has raised a fortune team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. To secretly fix, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. All right. We will do our best to be a part of that. Hugens Research Facility and Memoriam Hugens Malfunction 2048. Oh. Mm, that's sad. Yeah, very, very sad. Everything is fine. Holy crap, this isn't wow. No, duh. <laughs> We're going to space. Apparently. Can you believe it? Do you think I'll make it to space without dying? And hello. One of the few survivors of 2048 Hugens cryo sleep malfunction. Maria brought her damaged ASC unit back to Earth with her. She's been trying to repair her ASC in hopes of restoring holographic recordings captured by the device during their time at the Hugens um, research facility. Oh. A little alien robot friend. This moon game has a distinct lack of moons. I mean, they're talking about moons. I see a moon right there. I see a moon on the on all these posters. So I mean, they're they're there. Dear Sarah, we met years ago on the Pearson Space Station. I was relieved from service after the Hugens cryo sleep malfunction. Remember how we talked about my broken ASC? I'm looking for a way to extract its holographic data, hoping you could help me out. Yeah, I remember. Holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. I specialize more in software, so you should reach out to my colleague Rolf Robertson here at Pearson. He's an excellent mechanic. Cool. Is he now? Oh my god, oh my god, what is it? Blue eyes! <laughs> um. How do they know? That's what I take! <laughs> That's funny. In memoriam, those lost during the Hugens malfunction of June 10th, 2048. Don't forget everyone we've lost that day. Yeah, they, they know. They know what antidepressants I'm on. That's kind of scary. How'd they know? Yeah, you'd, you'd probably need to have some kind of antidepressant for uh, going to space alone. I could definitely see that. <laughs> if there's a way to die in this game, I'll find it. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. We gotta save the world. Humanity is in our... In our hands. Can't you tell how quickly I'm rushing to do so? Wait, what? Ah. Oh, am I gonna have to move this? Puzzle. Not really, but kind of. Whee! I made it. There's sometimes I prefer to be in space alone. Yeah, but maybe, maybe. Sometimes. But it would get really old really quick, I think. Space? I love space, but also it terrifies me. Like, getting lost in space. It's, like, scary. Or, like, just floating about. Not being able to get anywhere. I don't know. Space is, space is a lot. Okay. 
nice place still. Why can't we just, why is no one else here? Why are they all abandoned? What is that? Whoa. Evacuation notes, please proceed outside the Fishing Golf Cosmodrome facility. Everyone in around facility must be ready outside the building at 50500. Yeah. Isn't that scary if you have a robot running around saying danger? Will Robin's in danger? <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. But I don't I might have a robot friend at some point, so maybe we'll be alright. Maybe we'll be okay. Fortuna one is a go! Is that what I'm taking? Thank you everyone. Player's office. I've made three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson's space station. Claire. There you are. Come on, we're what? celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time <laughs> to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. <laughs> A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. Exactly. That's all we, we got to this. focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. <laughs> right? Right? That's it. Last minute checkup. Okay. Now what? Scan this? Alright, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. Claire's rocket model. Recruited straight out of university, Claire Johansson designed the Taurus 5 rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire is eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the 2054 blackout. I mean, yeah. I probably would too if my family was all lost. Definitely would be something I would uh, want to do. Custody denied? For what? That father on the next weekend has been granted full custody over Kathy after your mother's death. As a current guardian, you're ordained to ensure that Kathy is brought for safe passage to the moon to re re reunite with her father. What? Oh, geez. Okay. There's something not normal to the game. Oh, I get it. You're not short with stubby legs. And I'm a dude, I think. There's many differences in this game than, uh, than WoW. That's for sure. This is fine. Space is above you. I'm working on it, okay? It takes a minute to figure out how to get to space. You know, it's really far away. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Feels pretty linear. I just want to make sure there's no, like, little this side thing they could open. miss. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. As fast as possible. As fast as possible, you mean... By running and jumping and bouncing around this room like I'm in space, even though I'm not in space yet? This is as fast as possible, yep. I'm very, very productive right now. Oh, let me read this. <laughs> Initiate power reboot. All right, I'm doing something. Calculating new storm ETA. Oh boy. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way oh, faster. Oh. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've That's been working cool too long to give up now. Mm, okay. Keep it going, keep it going. I'm going. I'm not wasting time. Close both hydrogen fuel valves. All right, I know how to do that. Totally. Do I push this, this? Do I punch this monitor? I can't punch it. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, first off, what? 
what does a hydrogen fuel valve look like? Because <laughs> I don't know what the what I'm looking for. I mean, could be something out here. I don't know. Sure. Are those things? Are those the things? These might be the things. These look like two hydrogen fuel things that I totally know what I'm doing. Yep. Go win, go win, go win. Looks like a valve that controls hydrogen. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I figured it out. I didn't even need your help. I don't know. Yeah, right, Cheryl? It's like, I don't know what that's supposed to look like, but I've played video games before, so... Oh! Great, you broke it. Really, dude? Really? Now you gotta jump. Really? You don't know how to jump? Is this really what we're gonna do now? Do I have to go down and do something stupid? Probably. And I broke it, obviously. Exactly, yeah. Let's I figure it out eventually. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here. Am I supposed to be down here? Oh wait, no! Oh, I'm back down here now! No, this isn't where I wanna be. Um Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me bring this upstairs. Is this? Is it? This... Will this work? Am I supposed to bring this upstairs? See, you gotta, you gotta be resourceful. I could make it on the moon. No problem. You'll probably hit the launch button without me in it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, oops. Yeah, see, I, I'm doing things. No, 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 this is good. This means I'm doing something right, I think, right? Alright. Wee oo, wee oo, going this way. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. There you go. I got this. How do I rotate it? I'm rotating, I'm rotating. Nope. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Did I do it? Whee! <laughs> First puzzle down. Yeah, and then you need a taller ladder. I'm gonna bring this to the moon, don't worry. Okay, the hydrogen valves are closed. Head back inside the control center to oh prime the rocket for launch. What if I don't want to go back inside? Alright. I'm going inside. Don't worry. I'm doing what she says. What do I, what button do I push now? Which button? This button? This looks like an important button. Hopefully it's not the launch button. <laughs> looks pretty serious. Oh god! Now I gotta run. Run to the rocket, let's go! Okay, okay, what a- the rocket is prime. Okay, we're good, you we're good. To launch now, before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything we've worked for. You have a minute and a half to get on the rocket! But wait, I wanna- I wanna bring this on there. Okay, I'm gonna bring this on the- on the rocket. Will they let me? Oh, I don't think they're gonna let me go up the stairs, are they? Damn it! No stairs for the rocket, I'm sorry. I tried. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. I'm running. Oh my god, we got a minute, we got a minute. Hurry up, elevator. I have time for you, be slow. Put this thing on a hyperdrive. Big button! Push the what big red button. I'm going. Calm your butts. Calm your butts. I'm literally here. No, I'm in it. I'm in it. We're good. I don't have to be in my seat, do I? I just have to be in near it. We're good. Rocket navigation systems. Yeah, perfect. Online. We're nearly there. <laughs> just like your training, you can do this. 
Oh god. Oh god. Just like in training. Yep. Um. Um. Launch ground sequencer. These three? One, two, three. Ground launch sequencer started. Two. Orbital access arm. Cut off when in resting position. Orbital access arm. What's that? Uh, 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 uh. 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 Um. Two. It's one of these levers that pulls down. Which one, though? Oh, no. I have eight seconds. Oh, God! Um. 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 No, no, no. What do I click? What do I click on? Oh, no. Navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just <laughs> that was a death. That was considered a death, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, one, one, two, three. Oh, these guys, these guys. Now, oh, this one. I see it. I see it now. I see it now. All right, all right. Cut off. Orbital access arm retracting. Be a little more careful. Need to be more careful. Perfect, just like with practice. Okay, okay. Auxiliary power sequence, uh, A1, A3. A1. A3. B3. B4. Auxiliary power units, booting up. <laughs> it's hard. Radio checked. The gaseous oxygen vent arm. Gaseous oxygen vent arm and arm safely. Okay, 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 yep, yep. I, I know what I'm doing. Pull the sound suppression system tape quickly, release all valves. Um, five, which is, uh, three dots. Three, three, these? One, two, three. Sound suppression system engaged. Three, three, three. Initiate hydrogen burn, burn off. Uh, uh, these ones? Wait, which ones? Just all three of them? Why is it so complicated? Just give me a turn on button. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Initiate. <laughs> ready for ignition. Uh, main engine ignition. May uh, 7. Oh. Rocket boosters ignition start. Engines ready in 5, 4, 3, 2, start. 1. We're going to see! I only died once! Because, you know, that's how it works, right? You have more lives. <laughs> oh god, okay, okay. There's probably more I have to do next, right? Now what? This would be terrifying! I'm the only one here? Can I have a partner at least? Why do I have to do this alone? I don't want to go. Second stage ignition. Okay, okay. Oh my god! We're in space! Can you believe it, guys? I told you I would make it to space. Alright, now what? We departed from Earth. Look at the moon! No, that's the Earth. Fine. Yeah. This Earth is dead. Oh. Poor Earth. MPT network back online. It could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. It Hopefully. could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. No, this is Earth right now, what we're looking at. You'll need to find the MP Earth is just a dust the pile. Space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear? We need to head 
down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. So I'm gonna be a wall. For a while. No. The station you must. Oh, that's you being like, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I didn't know. I was like, maybe we're that close to the moon already. I don't know. Objective. Complete the second stage of launch. Hey. Cut off main engine. Bye, engine. Main engine cut off. Stage separation. Second stage ignition, which is just this. Okay, all right, all right. See, I'm getting the hang of it. Bid farewell to our home planet. Now we're all alone in space. Ugh. I get chills thinking about it. Don't mind that canister flying, <laughs> flying back to Earth. Not many people are left, right? This is cool. All right, that was the beginning. <laughs> we got more. Let's see what happens next. I'm so excited. What do you think? You think we're going to be successful in our mission? Maybe. Maybe. 